A martyr Greek, martis, martis, witness. Stem martyr, martyr is someone who suffers persecution and death for advocating, renouncing, refusing to renounce, or refusing to advocate a belief or cause as demanded by an external party. This refusal to comply with the presented demands results in the punishment or execution of the martyr by the oppressor. Originally applied only to those who suffered for their religious beliefs, the term has come to be used in connection with people killed for a political cause. Most martyrs are considered holy or are respected by their followers, becoming symbols of exceptional leadership and heroism in the face of difficult circumstances. Martyrs play significant roles in religions. Similarly, martyrs have had notable effects in secular life, including such figures as Socrates, among other political and cultural examples. Meaning In its original meaning, the word martyr, meaning witness, was used in the secular sphere as well as in the New Testament of the Bible. The process of bearing witness was not intended to lead to the death of the witness, although it is known from ancient writers e Josephus and from the New Testament that witnesses often died for their testimonies. During the early Christian centuries, the term acquired the extended meaning of believers who are called to witness for their religious belief, and on account of this witness, endures suffering or death. The term, in this later sense, entered the English language as a loanword. The death of a martyr or the value attributed to it is called martyrdom. The early Christians who first began to use the term martyr in its new sense saw Jesus as the first and greatest martyr, on account of his crucifixion. The early Christians appear to have seen Jesus as the archetypal martyr. The word martyr is used in English to describe a wide variety of people. However, the following table presents a general outline of common features present in stereotypical martyrdoms. Topic: <laughs> Bahai Faith In the Baha'i faith, martyrs are those who sacrifice their lives serving humanity in the name of God. However, Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i faith, discouraged the literal meaning of sacrificing one's life. Instead, he explained that martyrdom is devoting oneself to service to humanity. <laughs> Chinese culture Martyrdom was extensively promoted by the Tongmenghui and the Kuomintang party in modern China. Revolutionaries who died fighting against the Qing dynasty in the Xinhai Revolution and throughout the Republic of China period, furthering the cause of the revolution, were recognized as martyrs. Christianity In Christianity, a martyr, in accordance with the meaning of the original Greek martyrs in the New Testament, is one who brings a testimony, usually written or verbal. In particular, the testimony is that of the Christian gospel, or more generally, the word of God. A Christian witness is a biblical witness whether or not death follows. However, over time many Christian testimonies were rejected, and the witnesses put to death, and the word martyr developed its present sense. Where death ensues, the witnesses follow the example of Jesus in offering up their lives for truth. The concept of Jesus as a martyr has recently received greater attention. Analyses of the Gospel Passion narratives have led many scholars to conclude that they are martyrdom accounts in terms of genre and style. Several scholars have also concluded that Paul the Apostle understood Jesus' death as a martyrdom. In light of such conclusions, some have argued that the Christians of the first few centuries would have interpreted the crucifixion of Jesus as a martyrdom. In the context of church history, from the time of the persecution of early Christians in the Roman Empire, it developed that a martyr was one who was killed for maintaining a religious belief, knowing that this will almost certainly result in imminent death, though without intentionally seeking death. This definition of martyr is not specifically restricted to the Christian faith. Though Christianity recognizes certain Old Testament Jewish figures, like Abel and the Maccabees, as holy, and the New Testament mentions the imprisonment and beheading of John the Baptist, Jesus's possible cousin and his prophet and forerunner, the first Christian witness, after the establishment of the Christian faith at Pentecost, to be killed for his testimony was Saint Stephen whose name means crown, and those who suffer martyrdom are said to have been crowned. From the time of Constantine, Christianity was decriminalized, and then, under Theodosius I, became the state religion, which greatly diminished persecution although not for non-Nicene Christians. 
As some wondered how then they could most closely follow Christ there was a development of desert spirituality, desert monks, self-mortification, ascetics, Paul the Hermit, Saint Anthony, following Christ by separation from the world. This was a kind of white martyrdom, dying to oneself every day, as opposed to a red martyrdom, the giving of one's life in a violent death. In Christianity, death in sectarian persecution can be viewed as martyrdom. For example, there were martyrs recognized on both sides of the schism between the Roman Catholic Church and the Church of England after 1534, with 280 Christians martyred for their faith by public burning between 1553 and 1558 by the Roman Catholic Queen Mary I in England leading to the reversion to the Church of England under Queen Elizabeth I in 1559 and then 300 Roman Catholics martyred by the Church authorities in England over the following 150 years in the 16th and 17th century. Centuries. Even more modern-day accounts of martyrdom for Christ exist, depicted in books such as Jesus Freaks though the numbers are disputed. There are claims that the numbers of Christians killed for their faith annually are greatly exaggerated. <inaudible> <inaudible> Hinduism Despite the promotion of ahimsa within Sanatana Dharma, and there being no concept of martyrdom, there is the belief of righteous duty dharma, where violence is used as a last resort to resolution after all other means have failed. Examples of this are found in the Mahabharata. Upon completion of their exile, the Pandavas were refused the return of their portion of the kingdom by their cousin Duryodhana, and following which all means of peace talks by Krishna, Vidura and Sanjaya failed. During the Great War which commenced, even Arjuna was brought down with doubts, e.g., attachment, sorrow, fear. This is where Krishna instructs Arjuna how to carry out his duty as a righteous warrior and fight. <laughs> Islam Islam views a martyr as a man or woman who dies while conducting jihad, whether on or off the battlefield see greater jihad and lesser jihad. <inaudible> Judaism Martyrdom in Judaism is one of the main examples of Kiddush Hashem, meaning, "...sanctification of God's name," through public dedication to Jewish practice. Religious martyrdom is considered one of the more significant contributions of Hellenistic Judaism to Western civilization. One Maccabees and two Maccabees recount numerous martyrdoms suffered by Jews resisting Hellenizing, adoption of Greek ideas or customs of a Hellenistic civilization, by their Seleucid overlords, being executed for such crimes as observing the Sabbath, circumcising their boys, or refusing to eat pork or meat sacrificed to foreign gods. According to W. H. C. Friend. Judaism was itself a religion of martyrdom. And it was this Jewish psychology of martyrdom that inspired Christian martyrdom. <inaudible> Sikhism Martyrdom called shahadat in Punjabi is a fundamental concept in Sikhism and represents an important institution of the faith. The Sikh gurus and the Sikhs that followed them are some of the greatest examples of martyrs who fought against Mughal tyranny and oppression, upholding the fundamentals of Sikhism, where their lives were taken during nonviolent protesting or in battles. Sikhism believes in abadat se shahadat from love to martyrdom. Some famous Sikh martyrs include Guru Aryan, the fifth leader of Sikhism. Guru Ji was brutally tortured for almost five days before he attained shahidi, or martyrdom. Guru Teg Bahadur, the ninth guru of Sikhism, martyred on of November 1675. He is also known as Dharam di Shadar i.e., the shield of religion, suggesting that to save Hinduism, the guru gave his life. Bhai Dayala is one of the Sikhs who was martyred at Chandni Chowk at Delhi in November 1675 due to his refusal to accept Islam. Bhai Mahdi Das is one of the greatest martyrs in Sikh history, martyred at Chandni Chowk at Delhi in November 1675 to save Hindu Brahmins. Bhai Sati Das is one of the greatest martyrs in Sikh history, martyred along with Guru Teg Bahadur at Chandni Chowk at Delhi in November 1675 to save Kashmiri Pandits. Sahib Zada Ajit Singh, Sahib Zada Jujar Singh, Sahib Zada Zorawar Singh and Sahib Zada Fateh Singh, the four sons of Guru Gobind Singh, the tenth Sikh Guru. Topic: 
Topic: Notable Martyrs. 399 BCE, Socrates. Much of what is known about the life of Socrates has been drawn from the writings of Plato, which more often than not focus on the events surrounding the death of Socrates. Plato's writings discuss how the state charges Socrates with corrupting the youth. Socrates reached martyrdom when he chose death over escape, as in so doing he chose to die for what he believed in. This is significant in the extent to which it affected his followers and the legacy of his ideas. C. 34 CE, Saint Stephen, considered to be the first Christian martyr c. 2nd century CE, ten martyrs of Judaism c. 288 Saint Sebastian, the subject of many works of art c. 304 Saint Agnes of Rome, beheaded for refusing to forsake her devotion to Christ, for Roman paganism c. 680 Husayn ibn Ali, grandson of Muhammad 1415 Jan Hus, Christian reformer burned at the stake for heresy 1535 Thomas More, beheaded for refusing to acknowledge Henry VIII as supreme head of the Church of England 1606 Guru Aryan Dev, the fifth leader of Sikhism 1675 Guru Teg Bahadur, the ninth guru of Sikhism, referred to as Hind D. Shadar, or Shield of India, martyred in defense of religious freedom of Hindus. 1941 Maximilian Kolbe, OFM, a Roman Catholic priest, who was martyred in the Nazi concentration camp at Auschwitz, August 1941. <laughs> <laughs> political martyrs A political martyr is someone who suffers persecution or death for advocating, renouncing, refusing to renounce, or refusing to advocate a political belief or cause. Notable political martyrs include 1793 Jean-Paul Meret, a French Jacobin assassinated by Charlotte Corday 1793 Charlotte Corday, a Girondin sympathizer executed during the French Revolution for assassinating Jean-Paul Meret 1865 Abraham Lincoln, 16th President of the United States. Assassinated by a Confederate sympathizer after the end of the American Civil War. 1919 Rosa Luxemburg, a German Marxist revolutionary executed along with Karl Liebknecht for their roles in the Spartacist uprising. 1929 Nurkan Yuldoshkojeva, an Uzbek dancer murdered in an honor killing for dancing without veil, depicted as a martyr of Hujum in the play, Nurkan, by Camille Yashin after her death. 1930 Horst Wessel killed by Albrecht Holler, a Communist Party member. Became Nazi martyr, due to promotion by Joseph Goebbels. 1943 Hans and Sophie Scholl, killed during the Holocaust for distributing leaflets opposing Nazism. 1948 Mahatma Gandhi, an Indian nationalist leader referred as the father of the nation by Indians, assassinated by Hindu fanatic Nathuram Godse for trying to spread communal harmony. 1956 Imre Nagy, a Hungarian communist politician. Executed for his leadership role in the Hungarian Revolution of 1956. 1963 Medgar Evers, assassinated in 1963 for his leadership of the civil rights movement in his home state Mississippi. 1965 Malcolm X, assassinated in 1965 on account of his leadership in black nationalism. 1966 Saeed Qutb, an Egyptian Islamist and a key figure in the founding of modern political Islam in the 1950s. Hung in 1966 for plotting the assassination of Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser. 1967 Che Guevara, an Argentine Marxist revolutionary. Executed for trying to foment revolution in Bolivia. 1968 Martin Luther King Jr., assassinated in 1968 for his leadership of the civil rights movement. 1977 Steve Biko, a South African man killed for his anti-apartheid activism. 1978 Harvey Milk, the first openly gay city council member of a major U.S. city San Francisco, murdered by fellow city council member Dan White who had previously expressed prejudiced views against homosexuals. 1981 Bobby Sands, an Irish Republican who died during a hunger strike while in prison. 1987 Thomas Sankara, a Burkina Bay Marxist revolutionary, deposed and assassinated for his efforts to transform the Republic of Upper Volta which he renamed Burkina Faso into a socialist state. 
1995 Ken Saro Wiwa, Nigerian activist killed for speaking against the destruction of indigenous Agoni land. 1995 Iqbal Massey, a Pakistani child killed at age 12 for advocating against child labor. 2003 Rachel Corey, pro-Palestinian activist killed by an Israel Defense Forces bulldozer in the Gaza Strip. Revolutionary martyr The term, revolutionary martyr, usually relates to those dying in revolutionary struggle. During the 20th century, the concept was developed in particular in the culture and propaganda of communist or socialist revolutions, although it was and is also used in relation to nationalist revolutions. In the culture of North Korea, martyrdom is a consistent theme in the ongoing revolutionary struggle, as depicted in literary works such as Sea of Blood. There is also a revolutionary martyrs cemetery in the country. In Vietnam, those who died in the independence struggle are often honored as martyrs, or Liet Si in Vietnamese. Nguyen Thai Hoc and schoolgirl Vo Thi Sao are two examples. In India, the term, revolutionary martyr, is often used when referring to the world history of socialist struggle. Guru Radha Kashan was a notable Indian independence activist and communist politician known to have used this phrasing. <laughs> See also